Pokemon Sword and Shield expansion pass the Isle of Armor released a week ago today and everything leading up to this point is a dream come true. From Pokemon popping up in the overworld to the dynamic Pokemon battles and the Galar experience. And not to mention the first ever Pokemon DLC. This is the story to how I became a Galar hero. Got you. Our journey begins at the Wetter station where some weird girl with pink hair asked me if I have seen a Galarian Slowpoke before. Now, she mentions that this thing is kind of cute, but I actually think that this thing is really, really derpy looking. Now, this guy basically asked me to catch the Slowpoke to get it out of the way, but I actually accidentally knocked it out with a fake out and i mean accident i didn't see that this thing was at level 12 so i sent out more petko one of the weakest members of my team right now and end up knocking it out with the fake outs as you guys saw but the second time i actually ended up catching it with a beautiful dream ball for color coordination critical ball by the way and caught the slow poke su successfully now they basically thank me for catching the slow poke and getting it out of the way for them and this girl really l is in love with the slow poke i don't know why so it turns out she has the isle of armor pass which basically allows her to go to the isle of armor now i also have one too because i got the dlc obviously why which is why we're making this video but once we got to the isle of armor this girl introduces herself her name is clara and i i think she's kind of cute looking i mean at, at first glance right but I, I'll, I'll talk about clara shortly uh, after this battle a little bit more because i actually dislike clara as a character now she challenges me to a battle, sends out a level 58 Benipede of all things. I mean, this thing is at a high enough level to evolve into a Scolipede, but out of all things, she sends out a level 58 Benipede. So I sent out my Heliolisk and knock this thing out with a Thunderbolt and Benipede essentially goes down. I mean, this thing, this, this girl, Clara ex expects to beat me with a bunch of Pokemon that are of course higher level than me but at the same time these Pokemon are not evolved and, and she really thinks she can she can beat me I know she mentioned this is a warm-up battle but seriously I mean what did you expect from a Galar champion Clara I'm not I'm not about to go easy on you I go hyper voice here with the heal list to get rid of the Galarian slowpoke and that concludes the battle so this is the biggest reason why I don't like Clara as a character in the character development so basically she she she's crying because I beat her in the battle I could just tell him to buzz off no they asked me to bring in the new student so in the once you arrive to the Isle of Armor there's a dojo and everybody thinks that you're the new student that's supposed to attend the dojo but in all reality I'm just in the Isle of Armor to explore you know I, I ain't trying to be in no dojo or anything like that I just want to see if there are any new Pokemon if there are new areas to explore you know things of that nature so she gives me a style card basically dissing on my on my sense of style yeah i i don't think you have a really good sense of style either clara no offense uh, but thanks anyways for that style card so she's going to see you never i actually just realized that she says that but anyways i decide to explore the isle of armor i mean look at the scenery to this place you got slow poke everywhere and if you, look at the sea i mean this scenery is that a binary the and a Jigglypuff. And, I mean, the scenery here is beautiful. We go into the Courageous Cavern here, uh, which is another part of the Isle of Armor, obviously. And I'm, I'm just exploring. And this place is absolutely beautiful. I can't get... I can't shake off the awe that I have for this place. So I end up deciding to explore a little bit more and go to this tower. And basically, this guy tells me to just get the heck out of here. So I ended up getting hurt. Didn't want to be there anyways. Go to the forest of focus where I encounter an Amoongus. I was going to catch this thing originally. Uh, I'm a big fan of Amoongus. And notice that my heal disc is in the low HP stat. So I get out of there. We go on to a desert looking place with a bunch of sand isle. We got a sand shoe there. And it's just... There, there's a lot to explore here when it comes to the Isle of Armor. We got warm-up tunnel, tunnel. And now, going back to the objective, we actually are on our way to the dojo here. And this guy has a Diglett, an Alolan Diglett at that. And apparently, this guy lost his Diglett. Thank you for finding my Diglett. You're welcome. This this is an Alolan Diglett, right? 
yeah this this is the diglet from alola when i traveled in alola i fell in love with this, these ado adorable little hairs i can't really read right now for some reason but going back into the objective of the story this guy wants me to find all of his other diglet which is about 151 uh so 150 more diglets and man you better you better reward me for finding 150 diglet and you know getting out got it, getting out of my way for finding this thing now Oh, fiddlestick. So our new student decided to go back then. Seems that way. Yep. So basically, they still think I'm the new student. And they're, they're essentially talking about me. And Clara's not surprised to see me. I mean, who would be? I, I just molly whopped her team with a heal disc here. So she asked me if I'm the new student that's going to join the dojo. I say you got the wrong person. Clara tries to vouch for me, but in all reality, she's vouching for me because she's just straight up being a... She, she's being a bully. If, if I could use another word, let's just say it starts with a B. But she's being a bully here my name is alvin who are you well guess what my name is honey honey is the husband of the dojo master you guys are going to meet him here shortly now what's funny is when i first met honey i thought her name was pronounced honey but obviously honey like like honey nut cheerios or something but clara really doesn't want me to attend the dojo here because she really just doesn't want anybody to compete with obviously she feels threatened by me I, i'm i'm a better trainer than you because i'm the geller champion <laughs> no spoilers there or anything but anyways clara goes up to me and she's like don't tell miss honey here about what happened because you she basically threatened me this this girl has the nerve to threaten me and say if you tell him about what happened i'm gonna beat you up well guess what you can challenge me to a battle again and I'll, I'll, I'll put you down aside it's just like I did before. So anyways, we go into the dojo and the dojo is pretty, pretty cool place as you can see here on your screen. And essentially everybody turns around and looks at me and Miss, Miss Honey here introduces me. Please welcome Alvin. And everybody says, welcome to the dojo. Now, these people here don't know that I'm about I'm, I'm I'm the best trainer out there they they're not at my level so honey here introduces me to her son Hyde from the 70s show Hyde is a is a inventor really smart kid and gives me an exp charm he's kind of mean he, he's 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 kind of dry and I guess that's what you would expect from a little kid of his age but basically he, he's very smart and because of that he's a very he, he's he's kind of mean he's he's a bully I, I i would say other words if i could but we're not gonna go there so mustard th this is mustard the dojo master is introducing himself to me he's the master of the dojo and basically he is he runs the entire island he 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 uh gives you the kung fu of course spoiler alert i know i should have given you guys a warning and essentially what he's trying to do here is n number one introduce himself obviously if you guys are keeping up with the dialogue here but he is also wanting to test me he wants to see how good of a trainer i am but little does this guy know he's about to get molly whopped so he challenged me to a battle and he's gonna send out a mianfu of all things and just like clara he sends out a mianfu that's over leveled and it's not it's not evolved I mean, you'd expect for these people to have a Scolipede or a Mian Shao, for example, or anything like that. But they're running around with Mian Fu trying to bully people. And it's just like, what are you trying to prove here? Obviously, I'm going to be a better trainer if, number one, your Pokemon are not evolved. So, as you can see, I predicted for him to go for a fighting type move, which is why I went for the Volt Switch. And Dragapult just finishes this Mian Fu off. So he goes oof oof off all things he oof that was super effective obviously so now he's gonna send out the cutest pokemon in the world so he sends out a shinx now what i found funny here is obviously shinx has intimidate why is a dragapult afraid of shinx it, shinx is a really cute pokemon dragapult i mean don't don't be a pug look look how cute it is it's smiling even after you threw a little a little dreepy on its face so I end up beating mustard here mustard mayo ketchup whatever you want to call them everybody's surprised because i beat them I, obviously these people don't know who i am i'm the galler champion i mean seriously you guys don't know you've never even heard of me have you guys heard of leon i i molly whopped well leon beat me once or twice not gonna lie but i i ended up being leon i came out on top so i got a dojo uniform 
and my character changes into his dojo uniform and let me just express my feelings towards this uniform color schemes awesome i, I love the color the color scheme of yellow and black but what i didn't like about this outfit is the man bun that my character is rocking i mean i don't even got a man bun in real life i don't like i'm not a fan of man buns to be honest with you no offense if there's anybody with a man bun that's watching this um i i personally don't feel like i can pull it off my character obviously cannot pull it off so i'm gonna change as soon as this thing uh we're, we're done here because i'm just outright embarrassed about having a man bun it just doesn't suit me but anyways basically she's whining again clara because i got a uniform and clara didn't get a uniform but they you know they spoil her anyways it's not like she earned it or anything like that but guess what poke and i guess i think you guys already know who this is the slow poke actually ends up stealing clara's uniform i mean this these slow poke here remind me of the skirt of the squirtle squad from from the Kanto region and the Indigo League from the from the Pokemon anime. I mean, they're bullies. They, they straight up jack Clara for her uniform. So this is this is some anime stuff for me. So, oops, guess I let them out of the Pokeballs. So basically, this is the first trial. There's three trials that you have to do in the Isle of Armor. This is the first trial. And the first trial is for us to get the uniform back. And these Slowpoke are actually really fast. They're, I feel like they're Choice Scarf slowpoke because of how fast they are if you look at slowpoke space stats they're not fast pokemon at all everybody's kind of surprised look <laughs> that, that i found that really hilarious but everybody goes back they leave poor little scraggy alone in the back i go outside and the three slowpoke are just kind of taunting me and i'm like oh yeah try me then I'll, I'll give you a head start so they end up going everybody ends up going before me and you can see how fast these slowpoke are the slowpoke is slow they're not supposed to be this fast now so i get up on my bike talon flame appears in front of me and i, I did get kind of scared to be honest with you I get off my bike for i don't i don't even know what i was doing here to be honest i just got off my bike and got back on it because i'm stupid but trying to catch this little slowpoke and i was close until this little fomantis came in I, I was going to body the Fomantis, but I felt bad, so I just ran away. And I finally caught up to the first Slowpoke. Now, I'm not going to show the battles really quick. Uh, I do send out my Heliolisk, end up knocking this thing out, and get Clara's uniform back. Well, her dojo jacket. Two more Slowpoke left. And it, you can see that there's the second one far out right, because there's just random smoke. Imagine running so fast, you leave a smoke trial behind you. That's... You know, it just tells you how fast. Oh, is that a Dunsparce? You can just see how fast these slow poke are. So I catch up to the second one quite easily, cut him, cut him off his route, end up knocking that thing out, and get the Dojo T and Dojo shorts back, her, her stinky old shorts. I really don't want these. I, I don't know why I'm the one that has to catch Clara's, uh, uh, not her slow poke, but, you know, catch the slow poke and get Clara's uniform back. It's not my uniform that I lost. I mean, come on, Clara, be more responsible. So I catch up to the final and third slowpoke, and I'm going to show you guys this battle because I actually feel a little bit bad for the slowpoke. So I send out my Heliolisk. Slowpoke notices that Heliolisk has a little bit of damage. I'm going to go for a Thunderbolt, and he's going to go for a Heal Pulse here. So he heals my Heliolisk back. Thank you very much, slowpoke. I really appreciate it. And I'm going to hit this thing with a Thunderbolt, okay? Dry skin, I get damaged again, and the slowpoke is just like, hey, I, I see you're suffering a little bit in the sun. Let me help you out. Let me let me summon some rain for you, some delicious, nutritious rain. And I'm like, cool. Thank you, slowpoke. But guess what? You about to take a thunderbolt to the face. Get out of here with that. So I hit him with a thunderbolt. Slowpoke faints. And I get Clara's uniform back, uh, all of it, and I report back to the dojo, the first one there, and everybody got a head start, if you guys realized that earlier, and I got the uniform back all by myself, and I'm like, here, take it, get it out of here, I, I don't want it, why am I the one that's going to be responsible for your, your uniform, I mean, seriously, so... I, I passed the first trial with flying colors, and everybody's just salty that I'm better than everybody, and essentially... Especially Clara, if you saw there. But essentially, Mustard is nice enough to give everybody a second chance. Because I, I, I beat them. So basically, they, they get a second chance. But it's also 
time for the second trial after this so miss honey here brings out both the squirtle and the bulbasaur both capable of of uh, gigantamaxing now i already have both of these pokemon to be honest with you and i got po pokemon that are even better than both of these i got a shiny bulbasaur and a friend ball and i also got a squirtle and a lure ball i'm gonna try to shiny breed uh for a lure ball blastoise here soon but anyways both of these are able to drag out to max obviously and the first pokemon i look at here is the bulbasaur because if you look at it it almost looks like a shiny bulbasaur I would be really upset if it was, but I really don't think that it's a shiny one. Uh, even though it kind of looks like it, I can be mistaken by the color scheme, but that looks like a light green for me. So I end up choosing Squirtle because I honestly just prefer Squirtle as a Pokemon than Bulbasaur. Some of you guys might get triggered because I said that, but that's okay. So I, I'm not going to use this Bulbasaur at all. I already mentioned that I have a cool Lure Ball one, so I'm just going to put him in my PC, possibly trade him or possibly release him later on. But... Anyways, they're, they're going to go ahead and talk about what Gigantamaxing is. And obviously, we already know that the it's Dynamax, but they, they change in appearance. So, drinking a specific soup called Max Soup makes your Pokemon big and strong and capable of Gigantamaxing here. So, they don't quite introduce what, what the Max Soup is or what it does, but they kind of hint at it. So, basically, what you have to do here, and this is actually the second trial... You have to collect the max mushrooms and basically these are max mush these max mushrooms are ingredients that you have to take that you have to get and collect in order to make the max soup and what i feel bad here is that at one point mr mustard here master roshi if you guys know the hint that i'm or know the reference i'm going to for all my dragon ball z fans here obviously i am i'm getting sidetracked here but anyways mustard here actually meets me outside and basically tells me that the forest of focus is full of of uh mushrooms but he's like i'm gonna give you a secret you can basically guarantee a max mushroom if you go check the warm-up tunnel so i'm like okay thanks old man i'm gonna go check the, the warm-up tunnel right now and i'm gonna go look for those max mushrooms here so go into the warm-up tunnel here and i passed it because i i wasn't really sure if that was it even though i i had a really good feeling that that was the max mushroom i was supposed to get so i approach it try to pick it and of course out of anybody clara decides to show up i mean it had to be you so she's out of shape wheezing and everything and she basically says that she saw those mushrooms first even though i was obviously here first so you can kind of see why i don't really like clara as a trainer she's kind of a crybaby and i don't really got time for crybabies so she challenges me to a battle here which is perfectly fine she's gonna go ahead and send out her first pokemon which is a, i believe it's gonna be a slow poke let me double check yeah slow poke of all things again so she's gonna send out her slow poke i'm gonna send out my heliolisk which is honestly one of the best pokemon on my team and she's gonna she's gonna show me supposedly that she's the better trainer but yet she brings over a heli uh, not a heliolisk a slow poke that's not evolved yet so she hits me with a confusion obviously heliolisk is gonna take that very well i was actually surprised that she took a thunderbolt the first time given that slow poke is a pretty bu pretty bulky pokemon my heliolisk is ev trained it's bred for perfect iv so it's the perfect pokemon good nature good everything uh, this is actually the same Helio this guy used in one of my Wi-Fi battles. One of the, I think it was the very first team that we've ever used with Gigantamax Corviknight. So check it out. I do want to give you a warning that the audio isn't the greatest, but it's there for you if you guys want to check it out. So anyways, I knock out the coughing and she sends out a Whirlipede, her best Pokemon at this point. Whirlipede is kind of a thick Pokemon, so obviously it's going to take the Thunderbolt quite well. He's going with a Bug Bite in the face, and obviously Helio this doesn't want to be bitten in the face, so he's going to return a Thunderbolt right to Whirlipede's, uh, I guess you'd call it eyeball or body or whatever you want to call it. So Clara is defeated and again whines because I defeated her fair and square and she's like all right you can have those silly mushrooms I don't want them anyways but low-key she does she's just salty that she won I picked those max mushrooms and here honey miss honey call gives me a call on my rotom phone and says hey just checking up checking up on you did you collect the mushroom blah 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 i said i managed to get them even though i don't want to admit that mr mustard cheated and told me that he he basically told me where they were 
so she says get back to the dojo i do exactly that go back to the dojo everybody couldn't find nobody could find the max mushrooms except for me because i i'm i'm low-key a teacher's pet here with mustard he's smiling because he already knows that i i was gonna get him so he wanted me to win out of everybody so everybody failed the trial i'm the only one that passed again and it's time to eat some max soup because I, I collected the max mushrooms here. So we go to the kitchen. Miss, uh, I forget her name. Miss Honey is already making the, the delicious, nutritious soup. You can hear how good it is. I, I was talking over it and I apologize. But you can hear the soup bubbling and it just sounded really good. And all of a sudden, Clara comes out wheezing and everything. You need, you need to get in shape, like for real, girl. But anyways... She is the second person that passed the trial, starts crying because she wasn't the first one. I mean, I know I keep saying this, but I don't like Clara. She's such a crybaby. I mean, really, Clara, you need to stop being such a little crybaby. But anyways, basically, she begs for us to use her max mushrooms because she wants to share her hard work, quote unquote, with everybody, even though, you know, she, she probably didn't even work that hard. She tried to steal my max, max mushrooms that I found first, but... Joke's on her because I get to keep my own max mushrooms and we get to use hers so I can actually use these max mushrooms to Gigantamax either my Bulbasaur or my my uh, Squirtle that I mentioned that I had in the special Pokeballs. So soup is ready. You can hear the you can hear it bubbling really good. Yeah, that little bubble. But anyways, it's time for dinner. The soup is on. And basically, this is where they tell you what the max soup does. So I ate the max soup, and he's like, oh, I never explained what the big deal about the soup is. So this dojo is famous for the max soup. I can feel the Dynamax energy swelling up inside of me. So basically, he tells me, you eat the soup or you give it to a Pokemon, and they are capable of Gigantamaxing if it's compatible with the Gigantamax form. So that means that if you have a special Pokemon in a, in a special Pokeball, me, for example, I have a Rookie D and a Heavy Ball with a hidden ability. I can actually use Max Soup to make it capable of Gigantamaxing. So I might just do that later on. But after dinner, Mr. Mustard remind or he tells me to go into his room with Clara. I don't know what he wants to do, a little creepy old man. You definitely match Roshi for sure. But anyways, he introduces the third trial. Basically, what he wants us to do is that he wants me and Clara to have a battle since we're the only ones that passed the second trial, even though Clara kind of cheated. Um, but it is what it is. I, I kind of cheated too, so I, I really can't be salty. I'm also foreshadowing for those of you who haven't seen any gameplay or those of you who have yet to play the Isle of Armor. But anyways, we're going to have a battle in the Master, Master Dojo Court. And in this court, you are able to Gigantamax or even Dynamax your Pokemon. So it's going to be a special battle with Clara. I'm not going to lie. I was a little tiny bit upset about my battle with Clara. And you guys are going to see why here. But anyways, Clara's, Clara is pumped up to quote unquote beat me on a battle. Even though we both know and all of us know that we're the better trainer when it comes to any, any, any trainer in the Pokemon game. Anyways, so... I meet Clara in the in the master dojo here and we're ready to battle and she's basically telling me that she wants to be a poison type gym leader and wants to win no matter what now once we get ready for our battle it caught me off guard because everybody's going to watch this battle and I'm like I don't want I, I don't want anybody to watch my battle this this is supposed to be a private battle but I guess we have an audience now this is where the battle actually begins and i want you guys to pay attention to a small detail here so when the camera goes to clara she's gonna have some little spark sparkles that come out of her sprites and basically she cheats and you guys are gonna see why so like check that out all right so she's gonna send out a scroopy and this is why i was a little bit upset about this battle because she sent out a scroopy she wants to beat me but sent out a scroopy I mean, seriously, Clara, evolve your Pokemon at this point. Everybody needs to evolve their Pokemon at this point in this in this uh, in this dojo here. But anyways, we're gonna get the battle started. And I mentioned to pay attention to the little glimmer when it showed her sprite, and those are basically toxic spikes. She illegally set up toxic spikes to the field. So 
My Pokemon are going to be poisoned from now on. Every Pokemon that I bring in is going to be poisoned. Heliolisk is going to take a Poison Fang and take some damage, but Skroop is going to die to a second Thunderbolt here. Skroop is going to go down. Clara is going to set out her Galarian Weezing, which is actually really, really thick. So here I'm going to go for a Volt Switch, try to get some momentum going. I don't want Heliolisk to go down quite yet. Heliolisk returns to me, and I'm going to go into the Tyranitar here out of all things. So... I mentioned that there was some toxic spikes on the ground. I got poisoned here, but I also set up the sand stream. So we're going to be taking damage all over the place here. So he's going to go for an assurance. And it does absolutely nothing. Buffed by the sad storm and I get poisoned because of the, of the uh, toxic spikes that she illegally put onto the field. And I'm going to stone edge now. Stone edge, I, I thought it was going to knock out, but I forget how thick with two seeds wheezing is and wheezing goes for another assurance i mean i really don't know why you went for an assurance clara i mean seriously you see i'm a dark type pokemon i resist the dark type attack and still manage to go for an assurance so i'm gonna ice punch here get rid of this wheezing because it's kind of annoying of how thick it is and went for assurance two times in a row and she sends out a whirlipede her third pokemon this is supposed to be a four on four pokemon battle but i brought six i, I usually try to match whatever pokemon they end, they end up bringing but Anyways, Whirlipede goes down by a super effective Stone Edge. She thought she was going to live, but obviously not. And this is where the party gets started. So she's going to send out a Slowbro. So she finally took my advice and evolved her Slowpoke. And she's going to go ahead and give us a dose of Clara Poison. And what she means by this is that she's going to take her Slowbro back. And she's going to Dynamax her Slowbro. Really cool animation there, Clara. She, I think she likes us people because she kind of winked at us. But she's going to Dynamax here, as you can see. And I honestly thought I was going to be able to get rid of the Slowbro in one hit. Because I'm going to click Crunch here. I outspeed this thing, obviously. And it just takes it like a champ. And essentially, this thing's going to take us down with a Max Geyser. And Tyranitar in all reality is not going to appreciate this. So it's obviously going to go down. The rain gets set up. So this is good news for us because Heliolisk likes the rain. So Tyranitar goes down. And the rain gets up as mentioned before. Tyranitar return. You did a good job, buddy. Now, go Heliolisk. Heliolisk comes out. Loving the rain. He's going to go for a surf here. And I, I'm going to be honest, I thought this was going to go ahead and knock it out, but it doesn't. And Clara ends up going for a Max Geyser again. But thank goodness for that delicious, nutritious water type attack because we got a dry skin. And now our poison damage is not... It, it's kind of balanced out because of the rain, the dry skin, and because of the poison damage. So it's like I'm not taking any damage from the poison anymore. Anyways, she's going to go ahead and give us a full dose of poison here. And this means that she's going to go for a max ooze. I honestly thought this was going to knock us out, but Heliolisk is a champ and lives at 21 HP. So we're going to gain some health back and lose some health again because of, of the toxic spikes here. Now, Slowbro is not going to be Dynamax anymore because the three turns passed. She wasted one turn with the max geyser. And Heliolisk is just going to finish this off with a Hyper Voice. Boom. Okay, Slowbro goes down. And that actually concludes the battle. So winner of this battle, and I don't think I mentioned that earlier, gets to keep the... What is it called? The armor... The Master Armor, I think is what it's called. So basically, the Master Armor is the ultimate goal when you're competing in the dojo. I'm not going to tell you guys what it is, um... You, you guys probably already know what it is, but I'm not going to tell you guys what it is quite yet. And we're not going to reveal that in this episode quite yet. So basically, Clara begs me not, or she, she tells me that I can tell the master, Master Roshi here, that she cheated. I already knew that you cheated, but I'm not going to, I'm not going to tell on you because snitches get stitches and I don't want to get any stitches from you. But anyways, um, Master Roshi here was actually the Galar champion at one point and if he's as good as a trainer he says he is obviously he would have known that something was wrong you know all my pokemon was were getting poisoned upon coming in so he already knew but he forgives her because she stood up to her mistake i i honestly clara's really 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 spoiled i it's like ridiculous no one should ever get as much second chances as clara is getting here but anyways 
Miss Honey here is proud of both of us, although in all reality, she's a little bit disappointed in Clara. And basically, Mustard congratulates me because I completed all the trials successfully, and he's gonna go ahead and get the secret armor going for me here. It's the secret armor, not the master armor. But anyways, everybody leaves, and Clara stops me. She's like, Alvin! And I'm like, what do you want? Well, I, uh, well, she gave me her lead card, so I, I, she's obviously flirting with us. I mean, Clara, you're cute, but you're a crybaby, so look at the way she runs. <laughs> the, that, runny, that running form, though. But anyways, we're going to call it a video here. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you leave a like, comment, and subscribe. I will see you guys on Wednesday with the Pokemon Sword and Shield Team Builder. Peace. See you guys next time.